my kids remind me of how precious and how fleeting life is. They remind me to be about the things that matter to the heart of God. And you know, something that matters to God's heart and something that God has really given me a passion for is to see women live into who it is that God has created them to be, to use their gifts for the kingdom, to fulfill their calling in life. It's interesting because the prayer that I've prayed over my kids almost every single day since the day they were born is that they would love God to the extent of their ability and that they would live into God's calling for their life. And I have found myself praying this exact same prayer for, my ki for the women of the church, not just my kids. Um, I have prayed that we would love God more deeply. I have been praying that we would live into who it is that God has created us to be. I have a dream to be a part of a movement that is ready to take a bold next step to meet real human need in the world. Do you know who our mothers are? I mean, if not our biological mothers, then our spiritual mothers. Women before us have blazed a trail. They have literally led our church into new ministries. They have a history of doing this. And so why wouldn't we want to leave this same kind of legacy for our children? So the picture that I have of this ministry right now is this. We're literally standing on the edge of a cliff. We're paused, take a deep breath to get our wits about us, and then we're literally going to dive together into this next season of ministry. And so this is why I'm bringing together this group of women from across the denomination. We're going to get together, we're gonna to dream, we're gonna brainstorm for the future. This is why I want you to come at me with your ideas and your insights and your inspirations. And this is why I need you to pray. To pray for me, to pray for others, as we just try to get God's heart in all of this. It is a good day to be a part of the Wesleyan Church, and it is a good day to be a part of the Wesleyan Women's Movement. You know, my son, Micah, this summer, he would stand on the edge of the pool and he would count one, two, and then he would jump, whether we were ready for him or not. And it's because he was just so excited. I mean, he would just stand there and he just couldn't even wait to three because he was so excited. I get it, I get it. I am excited. I cannot wait to dive into this new season of ministry together.